Greetings and welcome to another episode of Trippy Food. Today we are in Harvard Square in Cambridge, Massachusetts. And the reason we are in Harvard Square is because we have decided that we are going to visit Bartley's. Now I think it's called Bartley's Gourmet Burgers. Uh, originally it was called um, Mr. and Mrs. Bartley's Burger Cottage. They first opened in 1960 and they're right across the street from Harvard University. But this place is famous for their unusual burgers. Now they have this whole list of uh, different burgers here. There's like the Joe Bartley, who is the one who opened it. It's a classic American cheeseburger with french fries, nothing uh, special there. The Larry Bird, a lot of these are local. The Larry Bird, uh, it's topped with cheddar cheese, guacamole, lettuce, uh, red onion, and then they get a little bit stranger. So we had the variant from the real life never ending story, topped with a fried egg, arugula, tomato, bacon, the Tony Soprano, the Megan Thee Salon. This one I like the mass hole. So a mass hole is kind of an affectionate term that people from Massachusetts give themselves. So although it sounds like you're insulting them, it's actually not. So uh, that is a double burger topped with ch cheddar cheese and barbecue sauce served with french fries. Uh, there's the Snoop Dogg, the Joe Biden, the BJ Novak. So this is the one we got. We decided we were going to get the Mac Jones. So it is a uh, uh, Apparently there's somebody on the Patriots named Mac Jones, that's, that's how much I know. Uh, our burger topped with Munster cheese, bacon, homemade mac and cheese, and smothered with barbecue or buffalo sauce, served with french fries. Now, we made a couple of changes, so uh, our choice was barbecue or buffalo. We got the buffalo sauce because I thought it would be a little bit more interesting. And then it comes with mustard cheese, but for, I don't know if it's a, like a dollar to substitute, but they have a bunch of different cheeses you can choose from, and we decided we were going to try the ghost pepper. So also to drink, they have a lot of, um, I don't know if these are local or not. I know like uh, this, we got an egg cream and they have three flavors of egg cream, chocolate, vanilla, and coffee. We decided to go with the coffee because it was really unusual. An egg cream is something that uh, you find in like New York delis. The irony is there's no egg in it and there's no cream, but they call it an egg cream either way. So uh, we decided we we're gonna get a coffee one. And so we're getting that to drink. They also have lime Rickies and uh, I don't know, maybe nothing else is really local. Uh, but um, but we have our nice drink, we have our nice burger. This is a hot mess. I mean, look at this thing. So, let's see if we can do a cross-section there. Oh my God, look at this. Look at this thing. I mean, seriously. All right, here we go. Mm. I'm glad that we opted for the um, the buffalo sauce rather than the, bur the barbecue sauce because you have that tanginess, almost sour taste. The mac and cheese is really good. It's not mushy. You know, the, the cheese isn't mushy. It's a nice burger. You get the taste of bacon and everything. Holy cow. That's really good. Oh my God, that is really, really good. Now, we didn't want to, um, to dip our french fries in ketchup, so we got uh, Frank's hot sauce. We're going hot here. Now let's try the egg cream. I don't know if, if it separates or not, so I'm stirring it up a little bit. Oh my God, that's so good. It's hard to describe. I, I, I think an egg cream is, um, I'm not even sure if there's milk in it, there's syrup in it, but it's like, it's really, it tastes milky but without, without being creamy. I don't know how to describe that. And then you get that coffee taste, so it's, it's like, a, like a coffee milk. So that is really, really good. So this is a great piece. I have a lot of really, really interesting burgers here, a really big menu, lots of, uh, lots of interesting desserts. And they've just been satisfying people from in Harvard Square since 1960. So I highly advise coming out and checking this out. This is kind of a fun place, especially if you live in the area. This is a place you want to visit uh, more often. So if you're going to come out here, be careful because it's crazy out there. Please take care of yourselves, take care of others, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below. And be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it, and we hope to see you again soon.